Hello everyone, welcome to Themeile. It's me Sid, and in this video, we're going to be transforming your WordPress website into a complete e-learning website from where you can sell premium online courses. Our online course will have video lessons, text lessons, quizzes, and so much more. And for course payments, you can use PayPal or any other form of offline payment method. So if you want to create an online course, whether to add a new income stream or to simply share your knowledge to other people, then this video is for you. Let's get started with the video, but before we do, drop a like, subscribe. If you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, links down in the description below, and I suppose let's get started. Alright, so boys and girls, here we are within the computer screen. Now this right here is a website that I just created. I spun up this website in under a few minutes, and yeah, in this video I'm using Neve theme, and I'm using one of their starter sites. So if I go here back within Neve, and within starter sites, I use this starter site right here called personal trainer or fitness trainer, my bad. So yeah, this is really fitting for the video. A personal trainer is someone who would most likely want to sell online courses at some point in their career. So yes, I imported this website, already have a good website going here. And now I want to add e-learning functionality into this website, start selling my own online course. Let's get started. Now, first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to go within plugins here, click on add new plugin and search for Masterio. That's M-A-S-T-E-R-I-Y-O. And this right here is the plugin Master LMS Online Course Builder. Simply click on install. The plugin was just last updated seven days ago. So that's pretty good. And there it is. Once the plugin has been installed, simply click on activate. Now, as soon as you're done installing the plugin, you'll be redirected to Mastrio's onboarding page. Here you can simply click on get started. If you want to watch this video, you can. But here, we're just gonna click on get started. Now here, it's going to ask you what sort of website you want to create. Now, whether you're an individual who just wants to sell their own online course, but suppose you want to create a website like Udemy, you want to have multiple different instructors and you want to sell multiple different courses, you want to split revenue between the platform and the instructors, well then you can choose a marketplace as well, but that is outside the scope of this video. For now, we're just going to select on individual, we're going to be assuming that you are a single course creator. And here it's asking you if you want to create a single course or multiple different courses, you can select multiple. And if you select multiple, it's going to show you in what ways you want to view your course within your course listing page, a card view or a list view. Card view looks pretty nice to me. Courses per row. How many courses you want users to see per row? Three is pretty good. I like three. And yeah, how many courses you want to view per page? Really simple. If you whether or not you want to show the search bar, you can simply toggle it on or off. Works pretty good. And if you want to install sample courses, you can simply click on yes, install sample courses with lessons, with lessons and quizzes whichever one you like. I'm gonna to choose to publish those courses for now and let's click on next here. Now, whether or not you want to offer paid courses, that's totally up to you. In this video, I will show you how to offer paid courses and we'll be setting up a few payments like, you know, direct bank transfers and even PayPal. So I'm gonna select yes here choose the currency that you want to choose and let's enable offline payment as well as PayPal. Now, setting up PayPal is really simple. All you have to do is you'll have to give in your PayPal email. Now I do have test accounts for PayPal, which I'm going to use one of these for this video. I'm simply going to paste in my PayPal email. Now here you can put in your actual PayPal email address and that is really all you have to do. Let's click on next here and we are all set. We're all good to go. Now we can directly get started on creating our online course, which is really just drag and drop, click a few buttons and you'll be good to go. Now here, if you want to share nonsense of data with Mastrio, you can. And if you want to receive security updates, new features, etc., then you can check out your email here. Even if you don't want it, you can uncheck it. That's totally fine. Now, I guess let's click on visit your site first. Let me show you what changes it has made to our website. Now, realistically speaking, there's going to be nothing in the front end, though it has created a few different pages. So if I were to visit a new courses page, then this is what our courses page is going to look like. And these are all the multiple different sample courses that the plugin has created for us. Let me show you what the learning experience would look like as well. So this right here is our courses single page. And here you can have your overview. You can view the curriculum for the course. And if people leave reviews, they'll all be shown here. People can leave reviews from here as well. And yeah, let me click on star course to show you what the learning experience is going to look like for your users. Now this right here is a free course. So that is why we are able to access it. We'll set up a premium course in just a bit. And I'll show you what the checkout experience looks like in in just a bit. But this right here is what the learning experience will look like for your users. And of course, you can have not just video lessons, but also text lessons in here. I'll show you how to set all those up. Don't even worry about it. And yeah, you can toggle between dark mode and light mode, which is one of my favorite features. So just letting you know. Anyways, now let's go back and let's create a course of your own. Oh, and I totally forgot this plugin also creates an account page for your users. So they can come in here, they can view all the different information that they have filled out for their account. They can see which courses they're enrolled within. They can see their order history. We have a pretty cool dashboard here and they can log out 
as well. So this right here is the account page. Now let's jump into the course building experience. Now from here within our dashboard, let's go within Master Rio. Let's click on courses and let's click on add new course. Now you can start off by editing one of those sample courses. You can do that, but you know, let's just start off with a clean slate. Now I have a doc here with all the different content that I want to use for this course. So if you don't have something created, create that first. It's going to be really helpful. So I'm just letting you know. Now creating a course structure like this, really simple. Give your course a name, give it a basic description, some quick highlights. And speaking of the actual structure, have topics for your course. And within those topics, you can have different lessons. All right, pretty simple. Watch this tutorial step by step and you'll understand everything. So don't even worry about it. So this right here is the name for my online course, Fitness Mastery 8-Week Protocol for a Fit Body. This right here is the description. I'm simply going to copy this. And within our course builder, simply paste it within your course description. Now here is where we're going to paste our quick highlights. Copy all these and just paste it. Let me remove these extra spaces. There it is. And now we've got options here for categories. If you want to categorize your course, you can do that. And here you can add a featured image for your course. Now, when you're creating an actual course, make sure you have a pretty looking image here. I'm just gonna pick up whatever we have and I'm gonna use it here. This one looks pretty good, I guess. Yeah, I'll just use this, right? And we're gonna click on next here. And this right here is where we're going to populate this course with our course content. Now let's click on add new section here. Now I've got four different topics I've segmented this course into. Topic one, topic two, topic three, and topic four. So I'm simply gonna copy all this, right? Topic one strength training fundamentals, paste it in here, add it. Now within this section, you can add different lessons. You can add a text lesson, a video lesson, live stream lesson, and even a quiz. And if you were to upgrade to the premium version, you can even have live classes in here, assignments, PDF lessons, audio lessons, and much more. For now, let's choose a video lesson. So our first lesson name is Mastering Proper Form. I'll give this thing a basic description here. And now within your video, you can either choose a self-hosted video, a YouTube video, Vimeo, or you can embed a video from whichever source you like. Now, obviously, YouTube videos are not going to be very secure. If you're creating a free course, YouTube video will work just fine. But if you're creating an actual premium course, then you would want to get a video streaming service like Bunny CDN, and there's a lot more. I think Vimeo as well has a premium video streaming service, so you would want to look into that. For now, in here, I'm going to paste in a YouTube video link. All right, this is one of my videos. So I'm just gonna put this video link in here. Now, if you want to add timestamps into your video, you can do that as well. Suppose from zero to two minutes, I am talking about strength training basics. I can do so, and I can add it in there. And yeah, this is what it will look like. Strength training basics. And suppose from after two minutes to five minutes, I'm talking about form or something. I don't know. Add it. Yeah, this is what it's going to look like. So you can add these timestamps into your videos as well. And a basic description. Once you've done this, you can simply publish it. But even before you publish, if you want to enable video share, you can do so from in here. If you're creating a premium course, you wouldn't want to do this. You can enable or disable right click. This is basically a layer of protection. That's all so that people cannot right click and inspect your page for now let's just publish this it's totally fine and i guess let me just preview you what the course is looking like currently at the current stage this is what our course is looking like fitness mastery eight week protocol for a fit body this right here is our featured image we've got this overview right here and if you go within curriculum then you'll see we just added this one lesson mastering proper form and yeah that's what we have right this right here is our quick highlights so now let's go ahead and let's add a few different lessons so now my second lesson is steady state cardio benefits and let me copy its description as well. Let me go back. Let's add a new lesson. Let's add a video lesson. And I'm going to paste in my lesson name, my lessons description in here. And yeah, I can also add a self-hosted video. So I can simply click on add video and I can use something like this. This is not a good practice. You shouldn't be hosting videos directly from your hosting. So just letting you know. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's update this. There it is. This right here is our first section of the course. Let me add a new section now. Cardio for endurance. Let me paste this in here, add it. And it seems I made a mistake here. This lesson two right here, steady state cardio benefits is actually a part of topic two. So I'm just going to drag and drop it within this section right here. And let me add the remaining section for my topic one, that is building muscle progressively. Copy its title as well as its description. Add a new content, video lesson. Paste in the name, the description, and the video link as well. Now, obviously, for this video, I'm reusing the same video that I have. But if you're creating an actual course, make sure you have a good video ready. Now, let's add the first lesson for our second topic. And yeah, likewise, I'm going to be adding all these different lessons within. So enjoy this montage. Shh. 
Sheesh. Okay, I'm done setting up all of my different topics in here. And yeah, this is a drag and drop builder. So if you want to drag and drop stuff around, you can do so. Like, you know, lesson two, suppose I wanted this thing in here. I can do that. But yeah, um, I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. And let me update this. So if I were to preview this course, then this is what it's looking like currently, right? Let's also check out its curriculum here. This is what it's looking like currently. We've got two lessons within each, right? Now let's go ahead and let's check out a few different content types. You also have a quiz content in here. Text lesson is very similar to video, except for video, you just have text in there. So that's all really. If you want to run live streams, you can do that. But for now, for this video, we're gonna focus in on quiz. So let's give our quiz a name, fitness, fitness trials. All right, let's add this new quiz. And we can start adding in our questions. Add a new question. Let's simply click on add new question. Don't worry about question bank yet. Let's just click on add new question in here. And let's give it a name. Apple has more, more calories than a cake. True or false. Apple has more calories than a cake, true or false? We're asking them a true or false question. Now you've got multiple different question types in here, true or false, single choice and multiple choice. This is in the free version. If you upgrade to their premium version, there's a lot more question types. Anywho, let's select true or false in here. Let's give this question 10 points. And obviously the correct answer is false. So we're just gonna set that, update this question. And let's add another question in here. What among these helps in burning calories first one let's just say eating but even before that let's change our question type to single choice right eating less <laughs> i don't know right this is a single choice question um obviously eating less is the correct answer here let's give it 10 points as well so let's update this question here now obviously this is not a good question okay <laughs> this is not an actual course make sure you have better questions but you can create these quizzes as well and let me show you what the quizzes will look like now the third question type is multiple choice and you set it up in a similar way. And yeah, within topic four, this is what our quiz is going to look like. Let me start the quiz. And yeah, people can answer their questions in here. This is what our current learning experience is going to look like for the viewers. So yeah, this is our video course in here. And the text course is going to be very similar. You just have text here and it just goes all the way through. Like really, that's all text lessons are. Anyways, you've got settings for your quizzes as well. Here, since we've got two different questions, 10 points each, 20 points, right? Suppose pass points is 10. If you want to set durations, you can. And there's a lot more settings in here. For now, I'm just gonna leave all these as it is. And I guess now let's work on making this course premium because currently it is set to free. If you go here within your course settings, right from your course builder, then you'll see all these different settings in here. Don't worry about it. Now here you've got your basic course settings, enrollment and access. You can tweak these as per your requirement. Don't even worry about it. For now, let's go within pricing here and make sure this course is paid. You can create free, but a registration required course as well. So I was just letting you know, let's create a paid course in here. And suppose I want to price this course at around $20. If I want to run a sale for like $10, then I can do so. I can update it. And if I click on preview here, then you can see this is what our price is looking like currently. Now, let me show you what a user would see in an incognito window where I won't be logged in. So currently I'm interacting as a user and it seems we gotta do one thing. Let's add a link for our course page right in the header, and then we'll get back to the user experience in just a bit. So to do that, let's go within appearance, customize. Let's go within menus first. And this right here is our main menu. Let's add a new item in here and simply add our courses page within. Let's reorder it a little bit. I think courses, I want it to be second. So let's just move it up. There it is. Now we've got our courses page in there. Let's publish this. And also, I guess while we're at it, let's also add our my account page in here. This right here is the my account page. Let's reorder it. Let's add it like third. Now there's quite a lot of pages in here. I don't really like all this clutter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove about for now. Remove it. Yeah, I guess this looks fine. Sure, we'll just publish this for now. Now let's go back to our user experience. So, you know, I'm in currently interacting as a normal user. I go within the courses page in here. Bam, I see we have a fitness mastery course. It's $10 currently on sale. Normally this course is like $20. I click on it. I see what I have to see. I view the curriculum. I like it. Then I'll simply click on buy now. And this is what our checkout page is going to look like. Now, obviously we haven't set up our offline payment yet, which we'll set up in just a bit. And yeah, we have got our PayPal in here as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's check out our payment settings now. So back within our admin area, go within master Rio 
and settings this time. Now from in here, let's go within payments. Now the only two payments we have enabled here is offline payment and standard PayPal. Anyways, offline payment is when you're using something like bank transfers. If you want users to directly transfer money into your account and then you'll manually complete the orders, then yeah, you can do so. I'm simply gonna write in bank transfer description. Please transfer the course amount into the bank account. And here within instructions, you can go in a little bit deep and you know, you can, if you want to, you can give in your account details right in here, like your bank account details. But yeah, they do have a toggle here to display wire transfer information. And you can simply fill all that information out in here as well. So you don't even have to worry about it. Like you can give in your account name or account number, your account holder's name, your bank name and the Swift number, etc., etc. And yes, your user will be able to view all this information in the front end. So you can simply save this setting for now. Obviously, when you're filling out your information, make sure you fill out actual information and hopefully it won't look as horrible as this. Let me capitalize that B real quick, save the setting. And yeah, same goes for our PayPal. You really don't have to do much as long as you've given your PayPal email. That's really all you need. Now there is more settings in here if you want more control over your payment then you can check them out you can check out master's documentation as well but for now if you have given in your paypal email that's all you need and from in here you can change the description the title let me show you what it's going to look like in the front end so again i'm interacting as a normal user i go within the courses page in here i want to buy this course i'll simply click on buy now and here i am i'm going to fill out my name test 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 at the rate test.com and I'll have to click on this toggle to create a user. And this right here is my order. I've got my subtotal of $10, right? Wire transfer information, it shows up right here, which is pretty good. And yeah, we're selecting bank transfer. Obviously, if you were to select PayPal, that information will be removed and you can directly pay via PayPal. Now, when using payment processors like PayPal, users will have to complete the payment and they'll be given the course access automatically. For bank transfers, you're gonna have to see whether or not you've received the money. If you have received the money, then you'll have to manually update the order. Let me show you what it's gonna look like. For now, I'm, I'm just gonna choose bank transfer in here and I'm gonna confirm my payment. There it is, my order has been received. I can go to my account page. I can click here to download the invoice as well. For now, let's go to my account page. Now, currently I'm not enrolled into any course because I use the bank transfer method, right? Now let's go back in the back end. Now I'm interacting as an admin for the website. I'm interacting as you, I suppose, right? Now let me refresh this page. You'll see we have a new order in here. And yeah, this is the user test test, right? Now what I can do is I, I'll see this order, right? I'll click on it. I'll view all the details and I'll most probably check my bank statements. If I have this payment come through or if I'm talking with the user via email and they've sent me the payment receipt, then I'll simply come in here and I will make sure to change its status to completed. If the user fails to pay, then you can simply select canceled in here. But yeah, suppose our order has been completed. We'll simply update this order. Now, if I were to go back and interact with this site as a user, I'll simply refresh this page. And from within my account page, I have a notification here. That is my order has been set to complete before my order was set to on hold because you know, I hadn't completed my payment, but now my payment's complete. If I go within my courses or your courses, I can see I have been enrolled within the course. If I click on start, I've started my course. I can view the videos right you can switch it to a dark mode if i've got any questions i want to ask questions i can do so as well like this is a complete learning experience i can collapse these windows if i want a truly distraction free learning experience like if i set my screen to full screen like this is a proper learning experience right this looks pretty good so this is what the learning experience will look like for your users and really there it is you've created a complete e-learning website or if you already had a website then you've transformed your website into an e-learning website and yeah, this plugin has a lot more features in this short video. I obviously cannot show you everything, but they've got a lot of different settings, a lot of different features to give you a truly tailored e-learning experience. And not just that, they've got different add-ons and extensions for different plugins. Like if you're using WooCommerce, they've got an integration for WooCommerce, different payment processors, different page builders, so much stuff. If you want to give out certificates to your users, you can use this certificate builder add-on. There's like so much more. So yeah, just go check it out. This is an amazing plugin. So I suppose that's about it for this video. Master LMS, one of the best plugins out there to create an e-learning website this plugin has an amazing documentation an amazing support team if you want to watch video tutorials they upload a lot of videos like these right here are the videos from their channel yes that guy is me <laughs> don't worry about that but yeah pretty amazing plugin check it out so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did drop a like subscribe all the helpful links will be down in the description below check those out follow me on twitter and i suppose that's about it for this video i'm sid and i'll see you whenever i'll see you take care